Hey parents, this video is more for you than the students, um, but it'll help um, with their morning boards. So I'm just kind of quickly showing you how to do um, the morning board that we do um, pretty much every morning, at least three days a week. Um, and this is just something to keep them using their skills that they've learned throughout the year. So I will also attach um, this upside down. Um, this is our morning board sheet that corresponds to our board. Obviously, I don't have, um, I'm not at school, so I don't have the big erasable board that we use every day, but I'm, I'm uh, kind of improvising here with, with uh, chart paper. So um, basically, I'm just going to show you and so that maybe you can do these at home if you, if you find that you need extra work. So, um, but I'm just going to show you the four or five elements that I add to the board every day that they, that they uh, it, it, these are the only things that I have to change and then um, they can go through their sheet with it. So uh, I have a number of the day. Um, at this point in the year, we're trying to make it a larger number. So um, in second grade, most second graders go up to 1,200 and that's, our, that's the number that we top out at. At ACA, we try to, we start, to start moving beyond that. Anyways, um, so you can see the number that I chose is 1,206. The um, date, this is actually not today's date, obviously, it's just an example. This is my birthday, so you can figure out how old I am. Um, and then I would typically have some coins. Um, these are magnetic, but I just taped them up here. But I would have coins, not necessarily in order. Um, they could be mixed up, uh, but the kids have to decipher the coins. Um, and then on the back of the sheet that the kids do, I have a key here. And this is for a little game we play. I'll usually pick um, a separate number. Like let's say, let's just say that I pick 10 here. And um, then I would make a quick pattern. And the kids would have to decide what number would come next. So, uh, or what we would end on. So if I start with 10, I'm moving forward five, that would make it 15. And then this arrow says that I'm adding one, so that would be 16. Um, I am, uh, on my number chart, I am subtracting 10. So I forget what we were up to. But uh, it just kind of goes on and on like that. So 10, 15, 16, um, 6, and then back to 16. So we would end on 16. Um, the kids know how to do this already, so this shouldn't be too much of a problem for them. And then I also have... Um, so what uh, I use the initials OTB for on the back um, and that would be some kind of problem that they might show me on the back so this one says show me an array for three students went fishing and each caught two fish so you would just draw an array for that you you know draw the fish out in an array form like I already showed you in another video um, also on the back might be a word problem it might be a fraction problem um, that type of thing it could be anything so and that's just something I make up. And then the clock, I have to set the clock each day. So I have the clock, I have the number of the day, I have the date, I set some money um, up, and then I pick a number for um, this pattern, and then I pick something for on the back. Now let me show you quickly. Kind of how the kids would run through it. I'm going to do this rather quick. So the uh, number that I already picked was 1,206, okay, and this is all on their sheet. The number word is, I would write it out, 1,000, I'm not going to do the whole thing, da, da, da. Um, the expanded form would be 1,000 plus 200 plus um, some kids write zero, some just write the six, so, um, odd or even, oops, odd or even, I, ch I teach them to use dance partners is what we call it, so we pick the last number here, and we kind of, one, two, three, four, five, six, we make little dance partners, they have a partner, they have a partner, they have a partner, everybody's got a partner, so we know that it's even, um, today's date, I typically have it on a calendar circled, so if you have one of those at home, you could you could circle it on your calendar. They could go figure out the date. Um, 
So, for instance, this would be April 2nd, um, 2020. That's how they'd write that out. And then the digital date could be April 2nd, oops, 2nd, 20, or it could be um, with slashes. I call them slashes or dashes, either one. Um, then on the sheet, it says greater than the number of the day. So we're looking for, um, we're looking for a number that's obviously greater than, and then there's also one for less than. So they'll just fill that out. We start with um, 206. Um, we need a number that would be greater than. So that would be something like 2,000 or something. And then they make another one for less than, but I don't have it up here. Um, we also take the number of the day, we stick it in the middle. This would be, this would kind of correspond to a number chart. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. I'll pull it a little bit closer and adjust my stand here. Uh, so we would stick 1,206 here. Oops, wrong number. 1,206 and 10 less. They would figure that out, 10 more, uh, one less and one more, just like a number chart. And then the clock, I always have them draw the time, so that would correspond to the time that we set up earlier. Um, let me get that, wherever that went. So for instance, I would set it up. They could use the actual time of day if they wanted to, just using a, uh, like a clock in the house, or you could set it up like this. Uh, the time is 8.07, so they would draw that in. They, uh, kind of, it doesn't have to be exactly perfect, but they would draw in the time <clears throat> and then tell me something that you would do at 8.07 a.m. and 8.07 p.m. So they might say something like, um, at 8.07 a.m. I'm already at school, I'm in specials at 8.07 uh, p.m. Um, I'd, I'm in bed or I'd be getting ready for bed or something like that. Then um, the amount of money is also on the chart. Um, draw the coins and label. So I showed you earlier the coins. Um, at home you might could just use coins, you know, just like real coins. They would draw them like this. Quarter, dime, uh, nickel, penny. Um, and then they would give me the total there. So 25, 35, 41. And they would give me that total uh, for amount of money. And um, then that's when on the back, we would get to the on the back part. Um, and usually, I just write something out like a word problem. Word problems are really important, so that would be a good one for on the back. And then they can solve that on the back. Um, this is not, again, this is not something you have to do, but um, we'll probably put this tier two or tier three, or we'll just make it something uh, on its own completely in an email. Um, but I find that these are really helpful for review and for keeping the kids kind of up to date and making sure that they don't forget things. So. Um, it makes a lot more sense when you actually have this sheet in front of you and um, yeah so thanks for watching